What's up, Mooch Lifers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing a truck vlog. Don't mind the giant zit on my nose. My nose is big enough as is. <laughs> Lydia's laughing. And uh, we're on our way. I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of your K&N air filter. We're gonna oil that thing up. Had it on for like 20 plus thousand miles, so I'm sure it needs a nice cleaning and lubrication. So we're gonna go over that. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Oh, don't forget the mask. Good, how are you? Good. All right, so here's the high flow air filters that we have. And here is the air filter cleaning kit right here. So clean, rinse, dry, oil. This should do the trick. Thank you much. All right. One test down, one more to go. We're gonna run the Chick-fil-A because I got a $10 gift card. Let's get that food. Frosted lemonade. Mrs. Mooch got dye lemonade. Chick-fil-A sauce. Celebration lunch. It's my first meal without a car payment. Feeling it right there. You got there you go, good job. Uh huh. You dip it in there. Mm -hmm. Put a bunch of Chick fil A right on there. Oh, yeah. Sandwich tastes extra good. Here's your treat. And I can buy you stuff. Like a brand new. Savings account. Jeep Wrangler. We should clone Henry. Grand Cherokee. Clone Henry. Clone Henry. What do you want? Give him some of that. Oh. All right, guys. We got the recharger kit right in our hands. On the side, it gives you the cleaning instructions. Apply cleaner, rinse filter, dry filter, oil filter. It's pretty simple stuff here. So let's get under the hood. And then on our 18 Silverado, all we need is a flathead screwdriver. We got four screws. There's one there. 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 And there. So we're gonna take them off real quick. And there's one. About an inch long, woo. About an inch long here. Same thing, do all four. Then we'll lift the lid up. So I got these two screws and this screw off. This last one down here. Oh, okay. I just uh, had the magnet on my screwdriver. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but this last screw here anyways, it uh, it's hard to get the screwdriver in with this line here. Um, I started to undo it. I'm able to get to it. It's not hard. You just have to like kind of torque the box towards you a little bit. And then it's not like perfectly on the screw, but it, it unscrews. All right, so we got all four screws out. So we're gonna just like lift the box kind of straight up from the side, from the passenger side. Then there's this little bar that's kind of in the way. If you want to, you can take this bolt out and then this would slide over, but we're gonna try to just kind of squish inward with the corrugated air tubing there. And you can see the filter there. You should be able to just kind of sneak it out. Eh, maybe not. I don't remember if I did. I must have taken that off last time when I installed the filter. Let me take this bolt out. But I don't remember if I did or not because I haven't checked my old video. If you want to see the install of the filter going in for the first time, 
check it out. I'll put the link right there or right there. I can't remember what side. And you can click on the video to see about how I put this Canon filter in in the first place. Get our trusty 10 millimeter. But we can just spin that a little bit. There we go. Lift the box up. And then boom, there comes the filter. Let's check this thing out. All right, we got leaves. We got different things going on. So it's definitely time for the cleaning. Still got some pink though. But we're gonna rinse it off good. Re-oil this sucker, so. Also, let's check out the box. If you can clean that in there, get a vacuum, suck that all out, wipe it down. You could uh, spray some sensor cleaner on your MAF. If you wanted to, you can actually see it sticking out in there. But you would just unscrew these couple torques and then it lifts up out of there. Take this clip off here, pull out the wiring, and then take it off, spray it. We're not gonna do that today, but... So yeah, we got all kinds of, I don't know what we got, leaves and debris. k and recharger. Open it up, see what we got in here. You get one bottle of Power Clean air filter cleaner. Danger causes severe skin burns and eye damage. Woo. And the air filter oil. It's an aerosol oil. They also sell it where it's just the liquid red oil that you drizzle on. And here is the instructions. Get our Power Clean. It says to liberally apply this and it also says it can burn you so I put some gloves on so we're gonna go ahead and spray both sides liberally like it says Look at all that caked on there. This is the dirty side. It stinks. I think that's liberal enough. And it says to let it soak for 10 minutes. So while we're waiting 10 minutes for that to soak in, I'm going to go ahead and attach this nozzle on the shop back. And try to get as much as I can with suction. Yeah, let's just do this. Inside the air ball. All right, well, we did that. I'm just gonna get some damp shop towels and try to wipe out inside a little bit so yep pretty dirty and it's like not even all the way clean in there I actually sprayed a little bit of brake cleaner in there not a lot just a little bit so it's not too bad a little more drying to do but there was some caked on stuff in the corner. I got that out. And then otherwise it's it's fair. So clean enough. Like if you want to be super fancy, take the whole box out and like spray it and dry it and stuff. But we're not going to be that detailed today. And uh, it's been about 10 minutes. So let's uh, head back inside. I actually plug the sink. So when we spray this thing off, you can see how dirty it looks. Went around the outside first. 
I'll start making my way on the inside here. You can see the pink, the oil color pink is leaving the fins. So, until it's rinsing that off and then that cleaner that it comes with is gonna help obviously with dissolving the grease and grime. So give it a couple shakes and then let's see what we got under there. Oh yeah. Look at all that debris. There's like little leafy sediment everywhere. Pretty gross. And that's why you clean these lifetime filters off. A little bit of maintenance. Better airflow. Teeny bit of extra horsepower. It's not really noticeable. But yeah. It's uh, nice to not have to buy new filters all the time. It's nice to not have to go with the paper air filters when you can get these lifetime ones. Check out that side. I don't know if you can see it good, but there's still some sediment. And I believe in the directions it says to keep keep the spraying and everything cleaning from the top side down. So I'm not going to reverse spray this side. I'm just going to keep adding water here until I get most of that out. But for that part, I'm going to actually pull the drain because it'll just be continuing to, you know, soak in its own filth. So we'll start that like that. Back down. And we'll just keep on going at it. Check it out. Nice and clean. It's got like a grayish hue to it. Barely a little bit of a pink vibe with it, but I rinsed it for like 10 minutes, shaking out a little bit of the excess water, but it's a lot cleaner now and uh, looks good so the next step is to let it dry naturally don't use your air hose on it or anything i guess you could damage the fins they seem to be pretty stout though unless you like really jar it hard with your finger inside so now we'll uh, use our canon air filter oil this is the aerosol kind and then we'll just hold it about three inches away and All right, and we'll let that sit like that for about 20 minutes and we'll recheck it and touch up any spots we need to touch up. Give it a second coat maybe. And then we'll put it back in the truck. We could go get another once over. Just one little quick from farther distance and I think that's pretty good so Let's go up to the truck here and throw it back in. Make sure it's seated properly all the way around. And just like that, she is back together, all snug and secure, all four bolts. You know, which when you look at these bolts, just food for thought, I use a flathead screwdriver for most of it. I didn't film it, but um, you look at the head, it can actually be a Phillips head as well, or a 5 16 socket. So actually, Worked out pretty nice with the socket a lot faster. So if you wanted to, 5 16 for that. It is all clean, oiled. The uh, K&N insert says that the filter should be cleaned approximately every 50,000 miles. My filter was, wasn't that bad at all. It was only about 20,000 miles. But right here on Mooch Life, we're just doing things a little bit earlier than we need to. So we can show you guys something cool and um, you know how to take care of your car or truck tighten that down and that is all she wrote and there we go this is our kit comes with these two items pick it up at your local auto parts store i went to autozone they have a website you can check them out and read about it throw it on the shelf here for future use and that's it so hope you guys enjoyed this cool video air filter cleaner in case you want to get that cool cane and lifetime filter instead of getting the paper ones it sucks in a little bit better air 
improves your engine efficiency, gas mileage, and gives you a teeny bit more horsepower. Although I will vouch that it is not a noticeable difference. My 2018 Silverado, trying to take care of it. Little things here and there. I'm the mechanic, but this is Mooch Life. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time here, subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to. Peace out.